back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you are brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to ring the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today, what I did was just this really beautiful fall kind of pumpkin spice latte-ish look. I played with some products that I've been really excited to continue using. I use my Danessa Myricks. These are the color fixes. I use my iconic London, the ultimate bronzer. And then I got into the iconic London. This is the Sunset to Sunrise palette. I really love how everything kind of came together. Super fall. I love this type of makeup where it's kind of like the blown out eye. So if you would like to see how I created this makeup, then just keep watching and let's get her done. I went ahead and zoomed you up just so you could see what I did. I have my brows done. I have my eyelids primed. I'm going to go ahead and do it in my eyeshadow. I have some products I'm going to play with. I do want to play with the Iconic London. This is a Sunset Sunrise eyeshadow palette. I did receive this. This is a beautiful, perfect fall kind of autumn type palette. Super excited about that. I do want to get more use out of my Danessa Myricks color glazes. I have Celebration Latte and Brownie. I'm going to try to incorporate brownie into the look today. And then I have a KVD Single Shadow. It's a really, really beautiful mauve color. I might use this on my eyes, but also maybe as a blush. And this is in Lolita. So I'm going to take the eyeshadow palette and really just build a base for those cream shadows. I do want to do kind of a more dramatic look. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this tan line. It is a really nice kind of light pinky color. And I'm just going to blow that out into the crease. If you've never tried the Iconic London eyeshadow palettes, they're really great. Super blendable. I love the different colors that they have. They have a lot of great neutrals, but also a lot of really pretty color. Next, I'm going to go in with this Tequila Sunrise. I'm going to put that on the outer V area. That is super, super bright. Next, I'm going to take that Lolita color. I'm going to put that on the outer V area. And really build up the outer V. A little bit more of that Tequila Sunrise. Blending that out a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take this All Nighter color. I'm going to put that on the outer V to really darken it up. Next, I'm going to go in with that brownie color from Danessa Myrick. So these dry really fast, so you definitely want to make sure to work very fast with them. So I'm going to take a little flat brush. This is from Wet n Wild. I'm going to apply a tiny bit on the back of my hand. And I'm going to tap that onto the outer half of my lid. That has such a beautiful richness about it. I actually might take that all over the lid. That is really pretty. I like that over the base of all the other colors that I've laid down already. I'm going to take a little blending brush and try to blend those edges out really fast. Alright. So I'm going to take a little bit of the tan lines and just blend the edges out just a tiny bit. That browning color looks really pretty over those other colors that I've laid down. Tap in a little Tequila Sunrise just to give this a really beautiful blown out look. So that looks really pretty. I will say the colors in my crease got a little splotchy so I'm going to blend those out just a little bit more. Tap in some tan lines. Try to blend those colors together a little bit. And then next, I do want to take some of the celebration. I'm going to put that on the front half of my lid. So I'm going to do the same thing where I just push out a little bit onto my hand. And I'm going to use the same brush, just the other side of it. And put that on the front of my lid. Alright, so I'm going to leave the eyeshadow there. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera, do my wing liner mascara, and then I will be right back. Alright, so let's move on to face. So I'm going to use my Elemis Superfood Glow Primer Moisturizer. I really like this. I think it's super hydrating, feels nice, smells nice. I just am not sure if it's worth the price. It's quite an expensive primer. Look at that luminous glow. Isn't that so pretty? I really do like this primer. 
Um, next, I'm going to go with the Avante Hyaluronic Lactic Vitamin B. This is a lip serum. And just add some hydration to my lips. I have had a cold for the past almost a week now that just refuses to go away, so I feel super dry and dehydrated, especially my lips because I've been coughing so much. So I'm glad to have something on my lips. It feels really nice. I like to let my primers set down pretty good before I put my foundation on. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I haven't used this in quite some time. I want to make sure it's not too light for me. Oh yeah, that'll work great. So I'm going to apply that to my hand. Take my little sponge and then just kind of apply that just where I need it. it might be a little bit light, but that'll work just fine because I kind of want to do just a very light layer of makeup. When I do heavy on the eyes, I like to do a little bit lighter on the face just, just so it doesn't look like I'm wearing 10,000 pounds of makeup even though I am. <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to go with my Joseph Colors. This is my 08 Light. I really like this concealer. It's a good full coverage concealer. I'm just going to use a little bit. My under eyes are pretty intense because I've been sick. So I do need some help, but I don't want to do too much concealer. Next, I am going to do some cream bronzer. This is my Fenty Cream Bronzer in... Um, macchiato. I do like the tone of this one a lot. And I'm just going to apply that just wherever I would apply bronzer. So on my cheeks, kind of bring that up. And I love just how glowy my skin's looking. I think that's really pretty. Perfect for cold time makeup. I don't really like to do super, super matte makeup because my skin is already kind of dry. I'm going to take just a little bit down my neck. For blush, I'm going to start with the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in Latte. This is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink kind of light mauve blush. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. I kind of rub that out. And then I will just use a little brush, tap that in, and gently apply. This is very pigmented. It also dries down pretty fast, so you have to make sure you blend it out quickly. It is a really great blush, though. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of powder. This is the Kosas Cloud Set and Breezy. I really love this powder. It's a great setting powder. And to add a little more luminosity, I'm going to use the NYX High Glass Finishing Powder. I heard that they're discontinuing this powder, which is super disappointing. I love it. It is a really gorgeous, luminous, all-over setting powder. I think it looks beautiful. So I'm super bummed that they're going to discontinue. I do hope to get a backup because I really love it. So I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to use the Iconic London Bronzer. I do have this in medium bronze. I really like this bronzer. It blends super, super nicely. It is a little more expensive as is everything in the Iconic London's brand, but I do really like it. It's not super pigmented, so I can kind of build it up, but I think it has the perfect amount of pigmentation. A little bit more blush. This is one of my favorite fall blushes. This is NARS Sin. This is such a unique, dark, kind of dingy purple color. I really love it. I think it looks great. As long as you use just a small amount, because it can be a little bit overpowering. A little cool tone, but I really like the color of it. little setting spray. Next, I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Horse and Carriage. This is the designer collection from last year. I really loved this one. I don't get to use it too much during the summer because it's quite light but once I kind of lose my tan like I have this is such a beautiful beautiful highlighter next I'm gonna do the finishing touches on my eyes I'm gonna go in with my Kaleidos Mars Melter I'm not a huge fan of this highlighter but I figured maybe I would try it as an inner corner and maybe it would work I don't like it on the face because it has quite a lot of glitter so I want to see how this looks maybe they'll zoom you in a little bit alright so there we go I'm going to just apply that. Ooh, that is really pretty. 
I find that there's highlighters that I don't really like for my face, mostly because they're glittery. They do work really well as an inner corner. And that is actually stunning. So pretty. Let's look up close. Okay. Looks really pretty. I love how this turned out. It's kind of a blown out autumn type smoky eye. I really like it. A little bit of eyeshadow on my bottom lash line. I want to go in with this tan lines. I'm going to put that just on the lower lash line. Not too much. I don't want it super dark. I do stuff to go get my son from school, so I need this to still kind of be wearable. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do a little mascara. Going with my Thrive Cosmetics, the only mascara that I love. I want to go in with my ColourPop. This is Yoon, so I love this. It kind of matches my cardigan. So this is one of my favorites from ColourPop. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply that to the lower lash line. Really just pop those autumn colors out. That looks so cool. I really love how that looks on my waterline. Hold on one second. I'm going to go pick out some lip products. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to try a lip combo that I discovered in my fall lip product video. I'm going to take ColourPop Beeper, my favorite liner of all time. I just love this. It is the most beautiful lip liner. It's always sold out, which is super frustrating. I'm going to clean the middle of my lips off a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty. This is Pumpkin Rose. I'm not sure if this color is available anymore, but it's such a unique yellow toned orange. Super, super cool. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of that onto the middle of my lip. This whole makeup makes me feel super fallish, kind of like a pumpkin spice latte. I am digging this makeup a lot. I like that. Alright, so there is the finished makeup. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys!